Hi all, uh, welcome to my lecture on intellectual property rights. Uh, this is the fourth video in, uh, in the IPR lecture series and in this video we will discuss about patent, what exactly the patent is and then uh, what are the essentials of patent. Uh, here is a most commonly wide, uh, wide commonly used definition of a patent. Before that take an example, if a person A who is inventor he invents new method of battery using a new technology okay he invents it he is an inventor he is an inventor so when he invents something no one should use this right no one should use no one should use manufacture produce this product this product without Yes, permission right because he invented it he invested money on research and development he invested his time he invested uh, he used his ideas to produce or to uh, uh, to invent that product so no one should use or manufacture or produce this product without uh, yes permission so then who has to protect this government Right? Government has to protect this interest of a A or a inventors. So the patent, that's why this definition says, patent is a statutory privilege granted by the government to inventor. It is a statutory privilege. What is the privilege here? No one should use, manufacture, produce other than the inventor. This is the privilege which inventors are having. So this privilege is given by the government, a statutory privilege granted by the government to inventors. To whom it is granted? It is granted to inventors. Most importantly, if inventor wants that, okay, he can give a license to other parties to produce it. With the consent of inventor, other parties can use it. So that's why the definition says, inventor and to other person deriving their right from the inventor if if other persons get a right from a inventor then they can use it so it is a statutory privilege granted by the government to inventors and the other persons who are deriving right from the inventors and this will be for fixed years okay this right this privilege will be for fixed years as per IP Act, it's a Patent Act, Indian Act. It is a 20 years now. Uh, it is a globally accepted standard. So it is for fixed year. Why that that, that fixed that 20 years? It will exclude other persons from manufacturing, using, or selling a patented product or process, other than inventor or the persons who is having rights, who have received right from inventor. No one other than that. No one should sell manufacture or use the patented products this is protected by government for a fixed period okay this is called as a patent clear but according to section 2m of the patent act very simple definition a patent for any invention granted under this act is called as a patent so it doesn't uh, say any conditions or qualities or other things because the act itself prescribes a lot of other conditions in the coming uh, sections where it says which can be granted as a patent, which cannot be granted as patent, uh, what is infringement, etc. So that's why it says if any grant, any patent is granted under uh, the given act is called as patent. But this is a widely used which clearly clarifies that it is a statutory privilege. Let's see the essentials here. It is a statutory recognition from the government. Right, it is a statutory recognition as it is granted by the government each patent is restricted to the specific country if India gives a patent right to a person then it is for Indian boundaries only within Indian boundaries that patent is effective it is not worldwide if it is granted but there are now international treaties if one country grants the patent with using a PCT if they can apply for all other countries also but as of now 
when the patent is issued it is issued by the government so it is restricted to specific countries only and patent will be granted for inventor granted to inventors for inventions it is restricted it restricts other person from manufacturing using or selling a patented product so other than inventor or the persons who are having rights from inventor no other other than that no one should use manufacture or sell the patented product and this will be for stipulated period stipulated period currently as i said earlier it is 20 years and most important thing is patent is not only for a product it can be for process also product patent is very clear when you invent a new product that will be called as a product patent but the process is how to do it right how to do it the entire process itself can be how to do it can be registered for patent okay so the patent can be for both uh, product and processes right so these are the essentials of uh, patent uh, we said patent will be granted for inventions invention is a must it should be new so what exactly the invention is it is a most important aspect in the patent what exactly the invention is is every every new thing is a invention every new thing okay instead like uh, i'm i'm put, like take a very layman example here i'm making a coffee 20% chicory coffee powder and 80% uh, uh, coffee beans and later on i made 30% and 70% is it a new invention no right so just changing the percentage or a combination will not become new invention let us see what exactly the invention means according to section 2j of the patent act invention means a new product or a process involving a inventive step okay so it is a new product or a process which is having a inventive involving a inventive step and capable of industrial application you do some invention if there is no use of that invention within industries then it is not a invention so it should have a inventive step and then it should have industrial application so to call it as an invention it must be a new process there should be some inventive step it is just not a increasing or a changing the proportion there will be some inventions inventive step and then invention must have some economic significance if you invent something which is not having any economic significance or if there is no use in the industries then it will not be called as invention okay so there are three important aspects uh, which we discussed here right that will can be rephrased as novelty which is a completely new there it will there should be utility there should be use uh, there should be economic significance of this and then inventiveness it is not only new but there should be some inventive step so novelty means what it is a first no where in the world it should have done okay it is a first thing okay wherever it is if it is done first time then it is called as novelty novelty is lost on the first sale if any product is sold in the market when first sale happens then the novelty will be lost so before applying for a patent it is necessary to ensure that the new invention is not available in the market of other countries it is not that okay if uh, somebody invented in U us you copy it and you register it in india no right this is not allowed so novelty nowhere it should be there so before applying for the patent it is necessary to ensure that new invention is not available in the market of other countries also utility when we do some in uh, utility there should be commercial benefit of it if there is no commercial benefit that invention will not be considered as 
uh, invention for the purpose of patent and then inventiveness is most important here as i told earlier right coffee 20 percent chicory and 80 percent beans the same way uh, if they change it from 820 to 30 and 70 so it is not an invention there should be a significant improvement the minor improvements will not be considered as patentable okay so why it is not considered this very interesting case here which we need to know uh, see if small small modification if people do it and then see first they apply for a patent 20 years they get it and on top of that again they do small modification and another 20 years means the 40 years continuously they will get a patent that's why any small modification or a minor improvements will not be considered as innovations or inventions there should be a significant improvement uh, in the product uh, development so there is an interesting case here uh, uh, this kind of 20 like uh, i mean some modification if they go for 40 years it is called as a evergreen patent patenting evergreen patenting what is evergreen patenting once a people get a patent if they do a small modification and again apply after 20 years again they will get for another 20 years after 20 years again small modification so it will go in a loop with the small improvements they get a patent for lifelong so to avoid that there should be inventiveness uh, there should be a significant improvement over the earlier product so this is called evergreen pro uh, patentability there is a case uh, novartis case novartis has uh, invented a drug and uh, next time after completion of a 20 years they apply with a small modification they applied for a revision of the patent for another 20 years so government re refused to grant the patent calling it it is that they are trying to do evergreen patentability so invention should be significantly different than the present art or a present situation okay and that's it in this video and in the next video we will discuss about what exactly the process and product patent how uh, what are the difference between process and product patent how market is uh, reacting to a product patent and process patents thank you so much